not working. <laughs> this is the worst. Can you guys see stuff? I don't even think you can see anything. Totally not the best layout right now. But anybody want to learn how to do a quick beer koozie? Because today is National Beer Day and why not? So, we're gonna grab some fabric. We're eating some hot dogs over here. We're eating some hot dogs over here. Anyway, so got some fun fabric. Mine's a little stretchy, it doesn't have to be stretchy. So, you're gonna grab your fabric and double it over. Just kind of fold it in half so that it's about the width of your koozie. Grab just a koozie that you already have because who doesn't have a million koozies? Double that over in half and place your koozie on top of your fabric. So you're gonna, that's pretty much like an easy way to an easy way to measure it out. I'm going to cut it down to the length of the fabric. Can you guys see me? Ah. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut that down. Oh yeah, and there's Rachel over here for all you guys that are wondering why my camera is set up like this. So, I cut it about the width. Ah. Oh my God. Sorry guys, I kind of suck at technology apparently. So get your fabric. You're going to measure it out the width of your koozie. Does that make sense? And you're going to grab your drink. Shove your drink into the koozie so that you can measure around the bottom part of your koozie. You're gonna go ahead and put it onto your fabric and kind of sketch sketch a little circle around so that you know how wide the bottom of your koozie should be. I'm kind of a weirdo, so I already cut out a circle. So it's basically the width or diameter, I guess, of your koozie. Is anybody even watching? Okay. So now you've got a circle that's going to be the bottom of your can and basically a rectangle that's going to go around the entire can. So now that you've got your rectangle, you're going to go ahead and fold it down, fold it over two times. you're going to sew it so that you can have more of a finished edge. Does that make sense, Rachel? So 
I'm just folding it over so that there's a slight lip. I'm going to try not to burn myself. I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to do it one more time. And I'm going to go ahead and iron that over. And this is just going to make or like I said earlier, a more finished edge so that it doesn't fray or like go all crazy once you're actually drinking out of the koozie. So. <laughs> now that we've got that folded over like that. I'm going to put the outside edges together and sew down the side, all the way down. So I'll go ahead and move the camera. Hopefully it'll stay put. And I tend to do about a quarter of an inseam, which is pretty much what everybody does. But, um, yeah, Katie's just... here. Yay, Katie! <laughs> All right, so put a quarter of an inseam. You can measure it by your, your sewing machine has the little notches on the, on the, the plate. And go ahead and make sure everything's yeah. Make sure everything's all lined up. And start sewing. Like I said before, my fabric's a little bit stretchy, so I'm going to use the zigzag stitch just because zigzag zigzag stitches allow for the stretch to um, for it to be stretchy without breaking the seams. If you have just regular fabric, you can use a straight stitch, that's fine. So I am sewing down this side of the fabric. Now, as you can see, I sewed down, I don't know if you can see, but I sewed down the side. So your koozie or your fabric should now look like this with the folds along the top and the seam going along the bottom. So now that you're here, you're going to grab the circle that you cut before, which is the same size as your bottom of the koozie and you're going to make sure that the right sides face each other so that once you actually sew it it's all on the same side okay so got my circle and the outside go ahead and I don't know if you can see it's kind of bright you're going to go ahead and line up the circle and the outside of the koozie with right sides facing each other. And then you're going to sew along the entire bottom. So it's going to basically look like a koozie. <sighs> okay. So, let me get thread out of the way and I chose to use the first time I made this 
it took me like 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. So it's a really quick and easy tutorial or project. And you're kind of just repurposing a koozie that you basically have. That's why it's so like quick and easy. You're just making all the millions of disgusting, ugly koozies that you have look cute. Well, I guess they're not disgusting, but you know what I mean. So you're gonna line it up and start sewing around the circle, attaching it to the outside of the koozie. And you wanna go a little bit slow just because you're, because it's a circle, it's a little, it can get away from you, but just kind of sew a little bit slower than you're used to, I guess. Just so that it stays aligned. And like I said, you're just basically aligning the circle to the outside rectangle that you made before and just align the edges and sew all the way around it. Ah, and of course my fabric, my thread broke. So I'm just going to pull it out and re-thread my sewing, my needle really quick. Of course, it didn't do that the first time, but now that we're filming, it's going to do that now. So I've got it re-threaded and you're just going to pretty much pick back up where you left off. I kind of, whenever that happens, I kind of overlap my seams so that it, doesn't start unraveling. If your seams like start right here, there's gonna be a gap. I just overlap them, if that makes sense. And always make sure you pull your fabric out from the bottom just so it doesn't accidentally get sucked under and then you have to get your seam ripper out and start um, taking out your seams. That's like the most annoying thing ever, having to start back over again. So now that you've attached the circle to your rectangle, it's going to kind of look something like this. And it's basically an inside out koozie shell type thing. Anyway, so yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but I just sewed around the edges before I sewed up the side. I'm going to go ahead and cut. Well, actually, that's fine. Whatever. I'm not going to cut it. Okay, so grab your koozie and your little shell and cut all your little threads off just so they're not crazy and hanging everywhere. Okay, so go and flip it inside out, grab your koozie Shove that bad boy in and go ahead and wrap it around the top lip so that it's oh it's hanging over the oop so that it's hanging over the edge just like this. 
and we're gonna go ahead and sew around the entire outside of your koozie. Just like that. Make sure that your, that your fabric is still flipped over. This part can get a little bit tricky just because you've got to sew around the koozie and it's not just it's not as flexible and can get out of your way of the sewing machine. Um, but yeah, just be a little bit more careful. But like I said, I folded it over the koozie and I'm just going to start sewing the outside to the koozie. What? What was it that made you want to do this today? Oh yeah, today's National Beer Day, so why not, you know? <laughs> Make some beer koozies look cute. Like I said before, just take your time just because it can be a little bit tricky um, sewing around uh, the koozie top. So just go a little bit slower. And actually at this point, you want to go ahead and use the zigzag stitch regardless of what fabric you're using, just because the opening is going to stretch a little bit more and you don't want the whenever you stretch it out to put your beer into it, you don't want the stitches to break. So even if your fabric isn't the stretchy kind like mine is, go ahead and still use the zigzag stitch so that it allows it a little bit more give um, when you're, whenever you're um, stretching it out. Just make sure you go slowly and make sure you stretch it over the koozie so that your stitch goes through both the fabric and the koozie itself. Just slowly rotate it as you sew, and that makes it easier. And then I always just do a little back stitch once you've gotten to the end of your of your seam, just so that it adds a little bit more protection from it coming unraveled. So now that you Finish that up. You're basically done. My sewing machine's been acting kind of weird lately and messing up my double stitch, which I don't know what's going on with it. But anyway, Oop. so basically. 
this is what it ends up looking like. Can you see? My fabric's a little bit thinner now that I realize it. So you can kind of see like the logo underneath it. But if you have a thinner fabric, just double it up. Maybe put a liner, sew a liner on the inside or just use thicker fabric, whatever. But yeah, basically it's just a koozie inside of your fabric liner. And then that's what the bottom looks like. That's what the inside looks like. My little fold didn't work out so well, but yeah, quick and easy. And you can actually drink while you do it, which I wasn't doing. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but yeah, super quick, super easy. Make your ugly, boring koozies cute again. Yay, thanks. Boo. Why boo? Cheers, guys. Have a happy National Beer Day. Bye.